The investigation into this fatal crash here in Glen Ridge now being taken over by the New Jersey State Attorney General's Office. What we can confirm is that at least two people have died and what officials say was the result of a police pursuit. Booming noise, like a, something, maybe, you know, an explosion type of. You know. It was enough to jolt Shankar Chaudhary and his wife out of bed. A devastating crash just a block away from their home in Glen Ridge. The aftermath stopping commuters at a nearby train station in their tracks. Officials say it was just before 5 a.m. when a silver Hyundai with Pennsylvania plates drove off Bloomfield Avenue, plunging down this embankment and slamming into a tree. It would leave behind a trail of destruction, car parts, mangled street signs and debris. The vehicle was being pursued by Montclair police. Details on why are still under investigation. It's horrible. I, you know, I, I wish they would just put a big, um, you know, something there to block it, like a blockade or something. Air 11 was over the scene as a flurry of police converged on the area as they attempted to piece together what happened. At least two bodies were pulled from the rubble. Residents say the winding roadway above paired with high speeds is a formula for disaster. At the light here where Ridgewood and Bloomfield intersect, a lot of cars fly through the lights there, and uh, they have careened off the road before. Another crash along Bloomfield Avenue ended in a similar fashion in 2018, resulting in the deaths of two young men. There was again uh, involving a Mercedes Benz, and it lost control and just hit a tree here, and then everybody kind of died. The state attorney general's office takes over the investigation on the heels of the state's decision to reverse a restriction that barred police from pursuing suspects in vehicles. It was a rule implemented in 2020 as part of sweeping reform. The Essex County Prosecutor's Office is not commenting on Tuesday morning's crash, citing that the state AG is now taking over the investigation. The AG's office did not respond to our request for comment. In Glen Ridge, I'm Andrew Ramos. Pixel 11 News.